Hello everyone, um, today I've decided to do a quick video on um, external hard drives and talk a little bit about them and um, hopefully this video will be helpful. I recently took apart um, an Azus um, external hard drive from my dad um, because he just said, you know, um, just break the hard drive so the information can't be recovered and throw it away. Um, what I did was I opened up the case um, thinking I could salvage the case and put a new hard drive in there. Um, unfortunately it seems that the manufacturers when they build something specifically for that computer or that brand um, they make it impossible to remove the hard drive um, and put a new one in without damaging the casing completely. So these standalone units you see in the shops, um, like PC World, um, and once you've purchased them, um, once they they get knackered, they're no good, and you just throw it away. You can't reuse the casing or the electro electronics inside. Uh, so it seems to me a complete waste of money spending so much money on a branded product that you can't reuse um, or reuse any of the components. So I just wanted to do this quick video so you guys um, out there can see what I mean. What I've got in front of me today is I've got um, basic um, enclosure that you can purchase on eBay um, these cost between 40 and 60 pound um, and they're user friendly you just unscrew it and you put your hard drive in and you close it up and that's it um, that's a 3.5 inch drive this one I've got a similar thing this is just a pocket USB enclosure for a hard drive, again very user friendly, you can take your hard drive out with no problems, um, again similar sort of money, 40 to 60 pound, um, you can spend less, you can spend more, it's up to you, um, but basically it's just a case really with some electrical parts to it. And then I wanted to show you a recent purchase of mine which is the Seagate um, USB 3 external hard drive. Now this is um, a purpose built one. It's not user friendly, it's plastic, it's well put together, there's no obvious screws for you to unscrew. Um, for a product, yeah it's great, but in terms of removing the plastics and putting a new drive in, I could damage it by doing that. So again, um, once it's knackered, it's, you just throw it away or smash it up. And on another note, um, the best 100% way of making sure your data isn't um, retrieved when you throw away your hard drive or you sell your computer is um, basically don't sell your computer with your hard drive in there, smash it up with a hammer. That's the only 100% way of um, erasing your data. Yes. The MOD do have some software that can get rid of it, um, but it's not a hundred percent guarantee. Even then, there are professionals out there, um, especially in the military, who can retrieve information even from um, software that's been wiped with the MOD software. Anyway, getting back to what I wanted to talk about, I wanted to talk about um, external hard drives now. Obviously I've just talked about the Seagate where it's, um, this is a 3.5 inch hard drive and it's a good drive, it's, three, it's um, USB 3 but unfortunately it's not very easy to get in there and open it up. And obviously I mentioned you can get um, external cases that you can put a new hard drive in I'll just show you basically what I mean by that. So I've unscrewed it. Now, I put a hard drive in there already. Basically, as you can see there, you've got your components, which connects it to the SATA connection. 
<laughs> got your hard drive in there, which is a, I think it's a Western Digital, one terabyte. And basically, there's not much to say to it. It's an external box with a hard drive that I put in it, but you put it in yourself. The box is just a box, you know, it's a case, it's whatever you want to call it. It's an enclosure, basically. Um, so that's a 3.5 inch hard drive. Um, the reason I wanted to talk today about this was um, I was talking to my dad recently about hard drives and how they last for, and typically they say about five years. However, saying that, that's not entirely true. Um, I wanted to show you another enclosure I've got, which is a USB 2. And here is the 2.5 inch hard drive. You can see that with the electronics part there. You just take off like that. You see that? So that's all to it, really. Basically, all you've got is your hard drive, an electronic USB connection, which is SATA. You basically slot it in the hard drive, and then you just screw it there and screw it there. That's all that's to it. It's very simple, very easy to do. Um, basically, anyone could do it. The reason that I wanted to do this video today is. I wanted to talk about the difference between the 3.5 inch external hard drive and the 2.5 inch external hard drive. Now a lot of people are saying <coughs> there isn't much difference between the two, they last as long as each other. That's not my experience and my personal professional advice would be if you want a hard drive it's going to last. Um, quite a long time get yourself a 3.5 inch hard drive the reason I say that people say well the 2.5 inch hard drives are designed to um, take a knock or two and maybe that's why they fail well that could be true but saying that you can have an external hard drive that you've thrown your bag then take it to work bring it back um, it's mobile it's moving and I've not noticed any problems with a 3.5 inch hard drive. The truth is, I've had a 3.5 inch hard drive in my desktop computer and it's lasted over five years. It's true I don't use my computer a lot, but it's lasted a long time. Guess how many times I've had to get a new hard drive put into uh, my Sony laptop that I used to have. Four times a new hard drive has gone in there to replace the existing one which was just basically breaking down and I didn't even do that anything to the machine to the knock it you know or drop it or any, any sort of testing like that so you might ask the reason why do hard drives fail well there's many reasons mechanical age uh, wear and tear um, but there's one thing that a lot of people are not telling you about and that's heat as some people will tell you heat kills a hard drive why because it's wearing the internal components out and heat um, burns them out basically why a 3.5 inch hard drive lasts longer I'll tell you why because there's more room in there for ventilation for heat to dissipate and that's why they last longer um, so in my opinion um, if you weigh up the advantages of both, yes, a 2.5 inch hard drive, pocket drive, what you want to call it, you can put that in your pocket and it's quite easy to conceal, put in your rucksack, you can have a few of these. Um, yes, this is bigger and normally you have to have an external power supply for something like this. Sometimes you might get away with one bit having the power supply in the unit, but it's very rare. Generally, you'll have some sort of plug that you have to plug in. And if I show you the connections on the back, you can clearly see you have to plug that in. There's 
got a DC. Got a DC there, I think. Yeah, DC. Anyway, um, so that's my roundup today on external hard drives. Um, advice if you're looking to get something in terms of external storage. Um, I'd shy away from purpose built units like this from a manufacturer such as Seagate, Toshiba. Um, there's various solutions out there that manufacturers have done. The problem with these purpose built ones is you can't get in there, you can't unscrew it and put your hard drive in there very easily. They're not designed to be very user friendly, um, and that's the problem with them. Um, something like this, which is aftermarket, which is e a lot cheaper, um, is very user friendly. You can take that hard drive out and put it back in, you know, within minutes. You know, it's literally that quick. Um, so my advice is, if you want something you're going to reuse on a regular basis, get yourself a little external caddy and get these off eBay very cheap. Um, whether it's a 2.5 inch hard drive one or a 3.5 inch enclosure um, you, you won't go wrong with that I um, hope this video has been helpful because I know some people have you know, done reviews on hard drives and, and they're out there and, and they're saying well 2.5 inch hard drives last just as long as a 3.5 inch drive well there's a reason why video editors use a bigger hard drive um, and we're not just talking about in the computer because believe it or not you can actually get um, a connection for um, a 2.5 inch hard drive and put it in a desktop computer it's not a problem you could do that if you wanted to um, obviously years ago it was all down to cost and people went for the big drives and their desktops um, but even if you've got a laptop my recommendation is Get yourself an, an external 3.5 inch hard drive because it will last longer and I would rather have my storage in terms of um, video editing on something like this. Um, and just to tell you, I do my video editing and this video that you're watching will be edited on my iMac but I use a 3.5 inch hard drive as my uh, main storage for all my videos, all my editing goes on there. Um, and that's my uptake and my advice. I hope this has been helpful. Um, and thank you all for watching. Bye bye.